All right, we're going to start your morning off with a little magic. My next guest this morning, Christian Compton, he is an award-winning magician. Now, he is a graduate of the McBride School of Magic in Vegas. Most recently, you could find Christian performing at Dollywood Theme Parks. He was the resident magician, but now you can find Christian right here in Key West on Duval Street doing his magic. Christian, it is a pleasure having you here today. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. All right, Christian, where can I get a hat like the one you're wearing right now? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, if you may find one on the internet, but this one's actually pretty rare. This is one my, my grandfather actually wore. Uh, mm -hmm. So my dad's dad, and it's probably, uh, I think, era 1940s. And then my dad had wore it at Dollywood. And then when I got the job there, um, he handed it to me and now I wear it to this day. Well, I think that is so cool, Christian. I won't take the hat then <laughs> from you. Now, speaking of your father, Christian, he was a magician as well. Yes, yes, he was. And he's actually the reason I, you know, I, I am where I am in magic right now and to this day. Mm -hmm. He's really helped me, he kept me on track, and made sure that anything I did was, was good. Mm -hmm. So you always watched him then as a kid, right? You know, he didn't really do magic when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, probably when I was about eight years old, he tried to get me into it. Mm -hmm. And I, it, I just wasn't really, feel, you know, in, into it yet. And then when I was 12 years old is when I picked up a trick deck of cards. And mm -hmm. I ran home and showed my dad. And I was even thinking that he was a magician. <laughs> he instantly called me on my trick. And I was a little disappointed. But he did it all, you know, good reason. He pulled out his old box of tricks like a lot of stories goes. And... Mm -hmm. He started getting back into it. He saw me getting into it. And then from that, we just went uphill. That is so neat. So you guys got back into magic then at when you were 12, and he got back into it as yeah. well with you. Yeah, of course. You know, he, he got married. So he, mm -hmm. when that happened, he kind of put magic on the back burner a little <laughs> bit. Mm -hmm. And then when it sparked my interest, it sparked his interest too. When we kind of got to do father, we did father and son magic, father and son shows. And mm -hmm. we went to uh, magic inventions together. So we traveled around. I always got to spend time with my dad. Why do you enjoy doing this, Christian? I enjoy magic. You know, there are a lot of magicians out there, and the, they kind of maybe give magicians a bad rep is because they, look, I just tricked you, ha ha. But that's not why I do magic. I do magic because there's something you can do. There's something in a person's, a kid's eyes, you know, when you do a trick, it's that sense of astonishment. Even adults, you know, the meanest adult could, you know, not have, be having a good day, but you do a simple trick for them, and then they're fooled for that one second. And they feel like a kid again. They don't know how the trick's done. And, you know, it, it really helps them, mm -hmm. I can tell. So I really like that it, magic can create memories worth repeating. And that was Dollywood's uh, quote that they always wanted to live by. So I think I, I bring that to my magic really now is, you know, create memories worth repeating and those are positive memories. Great. Now, how is Key West treating you so far, Christian? Key West is great. <laughs> you, you can't beat the sunset every night. I, I work down at Mallory Square some nights mm -hmm. and then perform down there, but I also am on Duval Street. But, you know, I meet so many different groups of people, different uh, ethnicities, um, mm -hmm. just every, every, everyone. So it's a really great experience to, to finally see everyone and see what life has to offer because I'm from a really small town in Tennessee mm -hmm. uh, called Dandridge, Tennessee. We got our first stoplight two years ago. <laughs> so that, that's any clue to say how small it was. <laughs> well, that's great. And then from Dollywood to Key West, are there similarities between the two, Christian, that you see right now? There are lots, you know, there are some similarities. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, families come here. I, I, I was here a little bit during season this mm -hmm. year, so I got to, you know, see the crowds right now it's a little bit more of you know less families there's a lot of adults mm -hmm. but then again there's a big difference in Dollywood and Duval Street that's for <laughs> sure yeah all right Christian I haven't seen a magic trick in years so you have to show me something this morning okay okay well this will be pretty cool all right all right now um I'm, we got this deck of cards here now what I want you to do is I just want you to select any card you wish okay just take it out do right, I need to show? One. Not this one. No, I'm just kidding. You pick that one. That's all right. All I right. like this card. <laughs> you, all right. You can show the camera if you want. Okay. You're not allowed to look, Christian. It's okay if I look, all right? I've seen this <laughs> trick before. It's a good one, all right? Actually, what I'm going to get you to do is I want you to sign the card initially in some way so there's no way I could duplicate the card. Okay. A lot of people think I'm I mean, I'm, I'm going to ruin your card. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> I go through a new deck about once a week. Okay. I just put my initials on it. All right. We're going to recap here. Now, you know, you, want, you know why these call these magic markers, right? Because there's magic in those markers. I'll there. tell you why. No, that's bad. No, this is, <laughs> no, this is why. Check it out. <laughs> it's 
a horrible habit. I have to you get it. You just it's a bad stuck habit. that up your nose. Or it looked like you stuck it up your nose, in your eye, through your mouth. Yes. <laughs> that was good. Pretty cool, Christian. huh? Yes. All right, so now uh, what I want you to do is I'm going to riffle through the deck just like so, all right? And all right. when I do that, what you need to do is just say stop in, where any, anywhere you feel comfortable, all right? Okay. Here we go. Oh, do it one more time. It's okay, you're a little slow. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Indiana. No, I'm just Originally, kidding. Originally, don't make fun that of me. That explains it. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I'm just kidding. All jokes. Here we go. Just say stop. Stop. Perfect. Set your card for me face down right okay. there. Okay. Now, uh, you're going to know when your card, you see your card again because it has your initials on it. Now, mm -hmm. a lot of magicians, before they find your card, they do a bunch of fancy cuts. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything too fancy. I won't lie to you. Okay, actually. That looked fancy okay, right there. <laughs> actually, I can. I, I don't like to do this a lot, but this is, check it out. Okay. Skin. You know what that's called? Working the deck of cards. It's called no social life right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'll actually tell you a little story. One night I was out there on Duval Street, and a guy walked up to me. He had a little too much to drink on Duval mm -hmm. Street of all places. Mm -hmm. And what he did was this. He put my cards like this, front to back, back to front. He mixed the cards every which way. Mm -hmm. Now what he wanted me to do is he wanted to find his card. Hand the deck back to me. He said, find my card. This was presented a little bit of a challenge, all right? I had cards mm -hmm. front to back. Cards back to front. There were even cards in the deck back to back. It was a big mess. Mm -hmm. All I did though was riffle and give a snap and check it out. All the cards turned back the same way except, except for, for one. one card and one card only. Tell me, is that your card? Ah, that's my card, Christian. <laughs> now, what I, I just showed you. you did that. <laughs> thank you. Now, what I just showed you, that was a classic mm -hmm. approach in magic picking your card and finding your card. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to find your card in a little bit of a different, unique way, all right? Okay. Um, I'm actually going to find my card or your card with my mouth. Okay. All right. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Got a full mouth, Christian. <laughs> Not my card. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> That's pretty weird. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, that'd be a pretty good trick, right? <laughs> if this was your card. Pretty good. Check it out. One card that you signed. And there that it is, is Christian. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is great. Thank you. I don't know how you did it. I thought that maybe we stumped you. You know, you pulled out that king, but there yeah. from the mouth <laughs> comes the card. Christian, you are so talented. Thank you. <laughs> and like I said, I haven't seen a magic trick done in in years. So you definitely got a smile on my face this morning, and I'm sure you get smiles on so many faces at Duval. How often do you perform at Mallory Square? Uh, I probably go down to Mallory. It all depends how I feel. You know, there's a lot of competition down there on Duval Street. Mm -hmm. I get to do my own thing. Uh, I'm usually at Mallory three times a week, mm -hmm. you know, a minimum. Um, and right now I'm working more Duval Street. I'm usually there every single night. Mm -hmm. Now, Christian, do you have a goal with your magic one day? You know, I mean, this is what I want to do. This is my, you know, dream. And my parents already told me, always told me to live my dream. And I went to college. Mm -hmm. So, and now I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother is a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So he was in law school at my age, and now I work on the streets. So <laughs> well, you know what? You're doing good. And if you love what you do, then you are blessed to be able to do your passion. So. Yeah, and there's a motto uh, that I've heard, and I, I like to live by. Live your dreams, smile at people, and make the world a better place. Well, that is a good motto. Christian, mm -hmm. thank you so much for sharing your trick with me this morning and our viewers. <laughs> thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. And don't forget to check Christian out at Mallory Square. <laughs> 